Hello, this is Bob Hughes with JD Squared, and what we're going to talk about in this video is how to upgrade your MAD plasma cutter from version 2 software to version 3. All right, let's get right at it. What I've got in front of you here is a, an outline of what we're going to do. Please read everything carefully. We You'll, you never have to worry about bricking your machine. If, if anything goes wrong, we can always get it back. But if you follow these instructions to the letter, you should have no problem. That's pretty much summarizes the first paragraph. What you're going to need to do is go out to the machine, turn off both the MAD control box and the PC. Wait about two minutes or so. Turn both back on. Do not run any programs on the PC. We don't want anything running in the background. When that PC runs, we only want the setup program running. So if you've installed any other programs that are going to run in the background, make sure they're off. All right, the next thing you do is you're going to check your email, and we're going to send you a link to the setup program that's going to um, upgrade your machine. Now, in this paragraph here, we talk about it. You're going to either... Um, Download the link from your MAD machine onto the PC, in which case you can execute it right from there at the machine. Or if not, go to your desktop, download the link, copy it onto a USB, take the USB out to the main, plug out to the MAD, I mean, plug it in and copy that onto your PC. Now, it doesn't matter where, but it needs to be on the CPC. Do not run the setup program from the USB. We've had people do this before, and they forget, and they kind of unplug the USB by accident, think they need it for something else. Next thing you know, everything is stopped. Now, right here, what I've done is I've copied the, download, uh, the setup program right here to my downloads directory. You can put it on the desktop. You can put it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our list here real quick, and then we'll execute that so you get a better idea what's going on. Now, right here, just what I just said, we're going to double click on that setup program. So we would double click right here, and we are going to watch what it does. It, the setup's going to happen in three phases. The first two, lickety split quick. Uh, the first phase is going to install the MAD GUI onto your PC. The second phase is going to look for any settings that you may have changed that weren't factory plasma settings, things like that, in version 2, and it's going to attempt them to uh, attempt to convert them to version 3. If it does, it'll tell you how it went. If it doesn't, it's still going to try to convert them, but at, in all cases, it's going to save a backup onto your machine so we haven't wiped out the original settings. All right, phase 3 is the long one. This could take... 30 minutes or more, who knows? Um, the upgrade, this is going to upgrade the MAD controller at the plasma unit itself. Just let it run. When it completes, it'll restart the MAD interface, and you'll pretty much know that it's done. We still kind of recommend at that case shutting down the PC, shutting down the main controller, and then turning back on the machine. And then once it loads up, move the head around a little bit, just make sure everything kind of feels right. Anyway, Take a snapshot of this screen with your phone or whatever you got to do. It will include it in with the email. So however you got to do, use it as a reference. All right, let's go on over. Double click on the setup program and see what's going to happen. Dude. All right. It's, it's all right. You see what it did? Windows 10 here just said, we're not going to let this thing run. Um we need, to, we need to click on that more info, and we need to click Run Anyway. You see we got a little waiting cursor there, so it's loading. All right, settings converted successfully to new version. An archive of the old settings files is at, and it tells you where on the C drive it's at. It's in a zip file, so we're going to click OK at this point. Now you're going to see updating machine control. Machine must be powered on. Do not close this window. Remember, rule one, don't turn anything off. Don't close the window. Just stand back, drink your coffee, you know, Red Bull, whatever you got. Don't touch nothing until this thing is done. Now, instead of wasting your time in this video, you can see what it's doing right here. It's giving you um, messages. It's feeding back messages to you so that you can kind of get an idea that it's not hung. It's still running. You'll see what it's doing. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and stop the video now, and then we're going to come back here when she's done so that we could, you know, finish up here. Talk to you in a little while. Okay, it's been running about 12 minutes or so. 
if you've noticed all through the message window here, you're seeing things fly by. It's telling you what it's doing right now. We were updating the base image and now we're updating control packages. So I'm going to go away again for a little while, just, you know, showing you what it's doing right here. So what you're looking for is when you see removing old control folder and you get to this processing triggers and nothing has happened for a few minutes, it's actually done. So we're going to go ahead and close the window right here. Okay, now that we close the other window, this dialog has popped up, select your machine. We don't want to do that. We're just going to go ahead and close this window and we're going to go to the MAD controller and we're going to turn that off and let it sit for, you know, 20, 30 seconds or something like that. Just let it settle down. Um, and then you're going to turn it back on. You do not have to um, turn your PC on and back off. It's, I mean, off and back on. It's okay. Okay, now that we've cycled the MAD off and back on, we're going to go ahead and look on our desktop, and you're going to see a new icon. It's going to say MAD GUI 3. That's the one we're going to want from now on to run the program. If you have an old icon on that says MAD GUI, right-click on it and delete it because it's no longer going to work. All right, I'm going to go ahead and double-click on this MAD GUI 3 icon. And you're going to see the Select Your Machine dialog come up. Give it a second. It will populate. There we go. Now you got your MAD 4x4, 4x8, 5x10. Um, you're going to select whichever one you want to use. I'm using a debug machine. You, you know, that's our internal machine. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, looks like everything installed properly. Our program's up. Here's what we need you to do. We need you to go over here and power up your machine. You're going to home your machine. Watch the machine. Make sure everything's running correctly and all. And at this point, you can move around, um, you know, move the machine around, make sure everything's good. A quick note, if we go here to settings, in version 2 software under attachments, these numbers here will all be negative numbers. In version 3, they are positive numbers. Don't worry about it. That's just the way we're setting them now. And we'll talk about setting up um, the offsets in other videos. Anyway, I can't think of anything else to say. You know what? Happy cutting, and we hope version 3 you know, works great for you. Have a good day.